Hello guys, look who's here. Oh my god, look how big he is. You look cute. Look at him. He's a little beast. Boop, boop, boop. Hmm. Hi, say hello to your fans, to your adoring audience. Hmm? He's so cute. My loves, he is not getting any lighter and I don't think he is going to. He's like three and a half years old now. Only getting bigger, so it's gonna be an interesting, interesting teenage shit for him. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a lovely day, and I am so excited to continue fighting temptation chapter 21. Yes, there's a total of 30 chapters, so we are almost finished the story. There is nine chapters left. So let's see what's gonna happen and where the drama is going to be resolved. And what is the drama except like her you know, pregnancy issues? Let me know. Oh, before we start the chapter, I forgot to mention Laura Bryan's Instagram, my Instagram, our TikTok. And now, let's go. So in the previous chapter, our girl was finally going to come clean to Jojo. But we don't know what's going to happen. Is there going to be an interruption or something? Babe, I have something to confess. What is it? Actually, nothing is wrong. What? Don't chicken out. Why can't I tell her that I cannot have babies? Jojo can have your baby. She's my best friend. I tell her everything. So why can't I tell her this? She would understand, wouldn't she? No, she's going to like hate you for it. What are you talking about, girl? Ow. Hello. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Would you like to work with me at the office that is setting up for us? What? Tell me more. Wow, she totally changed the subject. Don't like this. I wish I told him. Ugh, it's like I have like a skin thing. Well, it's not a skin thing. It's literally just like a piece of my skin that's scratching me. I don't like it. I need to trim it. After a long explanation. You're telling me that we can both have our own office and we get to help people by holding events to earn money for good causes? Yes, but I won't do that with you. I'm in now. God, this is exciting. We can make a difference for lots of people. I'm sure we'll do a magnificent job. All right then, in a couple of weeks, Seth will have the office ready for us and then we can start working. Talk with Nick and fill him in about our plan. I'm sure your husband already told him, but yes, sure, I'll let him know. There's only one problem though. What? Seth wants us to have a bodyguard when we're not with them. Say that again, I'll, I don't think I heard you right. Okay, really though? Like, these girls are driving me bananas. Like, I'm pretty sure they've been almost kidnapped several times. So, like, the idea of a bodyguard shouldn't shock them, but okay, play hard to get. I already agreed to it. You did what? Why? For our own protection, no bodyguard, no job for us, for our own protection. Because it's for our own protection and I really don't want to give them more headaches. Let's agree on it, Jojo, and move on with our lives. Fine. But we can hire some hot Essen guys to make them both jealous. Babe, it's about our safety, not about making them jealous. Ugh, you're not fun. Good. Why is Jojo such a clown? I love it. She's the best. She reminds me of my friends. Let's go out tonight, just as girls. Oh, where? Clubbing? I don't think Zeth will agree. Nah, I have a plan. I already spoke with Natty. She's bored too, and we'll tell the boys that we're gonna go stay with her for a few hours. But actually, we're going out. Oh my god, something is going to happen. The three of us. Okay, but Zeth will kill me if he finds out. Like, murder. He won't. We can borrow Natty's clothes. She's a fashion designer, after all. They won't suspect anything. Why won't we ask them to join us? I have a feeling it's gonna get ugly. Like, ugly. Nah, they won't agree to it, babe. I know it. And we need to remember how it feels to have fun, don't we? I promise the club is well guarded and we're gonna be safe. No, babe. Can't do it without him knowing. I cannot. Mm -mm. Yes, you can. What harm can we do? Why is there always, like, the devil on your shoulder that's, like, always whispering things that you know is gonna be bad? Always go with your intuition. Just have a little fun and then we go home to our boys like nothing happened. Yeah, you're not gonna smell like smoke and booze. That's fine. You're a bad influence, Jojo. We can't do that anymore. We need to be honest with our men if we expect them to be honest with us. Don't get me wrong, but can't we have one night of freedom before bodyguards watch our every single move? If we tell them, they won't stop us, but they will transform into the Hulk every second a person looks at us. You know we're not gonna do anything wrong. We can go to a private place and have some drinks if you don't agree on going to the club. How's that? That's better. Better, I guess, but still, what did Natty say about all of this? That you better come because now that you're all married, you might forget about us girls. Come on, babe. One innocent lie won't do any harm. Okay. Fine, but we're gonna go to a private and quiet place and if we see something suspicious, we leave promptly. Got it? Yippee! We'll do so. I promise I won't get you in any trouble. Famous last words. Babe, I'm gonna go out with Jojo and Natty. Give me one second, I'm coming. Uh, I don't think so. Oh shoot, what did I do? What did I do? Did he hear me? Let's hope not. What'd you say, love? Jojo and I are gonna go visit Natty. Okay, I'll let the driver know about your plans. Or you want me to give you a lift. So cute. No, it's okay, I'll go with Sean. Nick is coming over for a drink. We have some business to take care of. Okay, make sure you're not doing anything illegal. 
No need to worry, Angel. All clean. Okay, then I'll see you later. Give me a kiss. I love you and make sure you're careful. Your bodyguard is coming tomorrow. Okay, sure. Everything okay, baby? No, everything's fine. I'm not guilty. Yeah, sure, totally. Uh-huh. All right, let Sean know that you're ready to go. Thank you, love. That went fine, but why do I feel like this? I hate this feeling. Jojo, I'm killing you if he finds out. I need to relax, right? I'm not doing anything bad, just hiding a little detail. It's called omission, right? And if he finds out, that should be okay, too. It's not like I'm cheating on him or something. Yeah, but I shouldn't be hiding anything from him. He's my husband. That's not true. I'm sure he has secrets I don't know about, right? <sighs> Baby, are you ready? Sean is waiting. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Just paced out for a minute. Let's go. Okay, let's see. Forever black, because black is our lying soul. Cute. Let's try. I'm feeling sassy. How is that sassy though? Don't mess with me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mess with me. No. Don't forget me. Yeah, that's the one. That's cute. Let's go. I like white on her. Cheers, guys. It's so good to see you. Oh, I needed this drink. Nick has been a pain lately. Babe, that's not exactly true, is it? Fine, he was a perfect gentleman. I need to control my jealousy. I needed this drink too. My life is becoming complicated, and it's my fault for that matter. Uh, my life is perfect. Sorry, not sorry. Hell? Oh, um, <laughs> you have no idea how bad I was craving this drink with you guys. Except I hate lying to my husband, and you guys are horrible for making me do this. Tell us about your honeymoon. Any babies on the way? Uh-oh. Should I order another round? <laughs> Make it two, Jojo. Stat. Oh, wait for me. I'm coming with you. I'm going to the ladies' room until you guys come back. What's wrong? Why did you cut me off earlier? Ella is not ready for babies yet. Try not to bring it up anymore it's because since yesterday she didn't take it well. Oh, sorry. I didn't know. You're fine. Let's not upset Elle. Something's bothering her. That's why I insisted for us to come out. Aw. She needs us more than she thinks. I hope she can confide in us so we can help. I'm worried because I know her. She wants to tell me something, but she can't, and I really don't know what's going on. What should I do to help? Don't bring up the baby subject in conversation and let the night go smoothly. Maybe it's nothing, and I'm worrying for no reason, but if there's something wrong, Elle will tell me after after a few drinks. You got it, girl. Let's pray it's nothing. If Zeph did something to Al and then myself. Trust me, he wouldn't dare do anything to Al. I have my two guns to take care of that. He knows I have a gun nice and shiny just for him. Do you have a gun? I have two guns, actually. I need another drink. You'd speak about guns like I speak about my clothes. <laughs> Babe, look at this. What is it? Where I want to have my honeymoon, what do you think? Are you getting married, babe? Where's the ring? Oh, I'm not getting married yet. Two months and I will. I don't understand. Are you planning your own engagement? Explain yourself, Jojo. If Nick doesn't propose in two months, then I'll propose to him. What? You can't be serious. Why not? What's wrong with me proposing? Nick will be devastated if you do such a thing. He's sweet, Jojo, and don't think for one second that he's less dangerous than Zed at all. I agree with Elle. Nick is not one to be messed with either. Our advice is to let him do it because he won't take it well if you propose. You're gonna ruin his surprise. You guys are not fun. I'd kill to see his face when I ask the question. Babe, you deserve a dream proposal. After all, it's once in a lifetime experience. Stop speaking nonsense and let him get ready for it. Don't tell me you don't want fireworks and candles and then he proposes. See, that's a thing. I want to be proposed to in a quiet place, just the two of us. I don't want him to make a fuss over some proposal. He already knows that I'll marry him anyway. I'm sure he already knows what you like. Have patience. I'm sure he has everything in order. I agree. Let him be a man and do the right thing. Just wait. Don't steal it from him. Ah, oh, I need another drink. I feel, I swear, I feel like she's always there to constantly piss Nick off. Oh, girls, we have a problem. Uh-oh. Don't turn around. The men. Why? Our bad boys are behind us and they look angry as hell. Oh, no. Oh, no. Roger's there, too. This is gonna be interesting. This is gonna hurt. To be fair, they asked for this. But then again, they like have zero freedom, right? Anyway, wowzies, let me know your thoughts about this chapter. I think it was cute, and I love how Jojo is such an instigator. Like, she cannot stop. She cannot help herself. I don't know how her and Elle lasted this long. I think she needs Nick because if she doesn't bully Nick, then she just won't be happy with herself. So yeah, let me know your thoughts, and if you think I'm right. And give this video a huge like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys later. Bye.